The time into this update could not be funnier because I just uploaded a video of me playing Breakers, talking about how they're taking way too long to release season two, Great Ape Vegeta, and then the new content. And then, of course, the day that I had the video scheduled that I recorded three days ago, edited three days ago, made three days ago, and scheduled, they, they dropped this. Really? really? I swear, Bandai has my computer tapped. They're like, all right, Rhyme's getting tired of it. Let's just go ahead and drop this trailer to get him to shut up. Whatever. Let's watch this trailer, and then we'll talk about it. Because uh, it's it's long overdue. <laughs> it is long overdue. What we got? So we already know that Grave Vegeta was coming. Imagine they didn't tease to us that Vegeta was coming in the last update. It's like, oh snap, really? Because then the Grade A part would be just insane. I like how it looks like literally just like Raging Blast. <laughs> like this should have came out like on a PS3 era. Season two. So I already know, based on my comments this morning, that this is coming out in two days. On the 16th. Ooh, so he started as Cyberman. That's kind of funny. Actually, Wuchichi. This is one thing that this game absolutely nails, is the other characters. Like Oolong, Chi-Chi, stuff like that. It's, it's, it's dope to me. Bulma. So then you become Nappa, as expected. Ooh, is that the new map? So, who wants to die? The, that map looks exactly like the first map. Hold on. It's the same map. Look, I, I don't want to. I don't want to prejudge it, but that looks literally like the first and second map put together. No Ain't no way we waited three months for them to remix two maps that are already in the game. That's dope. The way that Vegeta takes over is dope. So Cybermen, Nappa, Vegeta, and then Great Ape. I'm mostly curious to know how the Great Ape is going to play. Because I feel like it's... Getting that right is just going to be difficult. First open and mix! This is exciting. I will say this. It's cool that it's very, very unique. You seem very slow and bulky, though. Oh, you got giant AOE. Hello? Is it transmission? That's kind of... That's a cool move. Hold on. Hold on. That's a dope move. Did we get anything new? That's literally just Goku. They definitely fumbled with that. Yeah, February 16th. It's literally around the corner. I think they definitely fumbled with that. Is there anything else? There's more. There's more. Oh, you can cut his tail off? Oh, it's just Yash and Robo's play. Hold on, let me, let me pause this for a second. So we got uh, is that that's like the president of the of the planet, right? King Furry, Chi Chi. I like this Chi. -Chi. This is the only good Chi Chi that we like in in the series. Every Chi Chi after this is is whack. I said what I said. Yajirobe is dope, but I don't know what Yajirobe will bring to this game that's going to be super hype. Because look, here's here's the thing. As Dragon Ball fans, we want the flashy, crazy, cool, explosive explosions and stuff. You're not gonna get that with these characters. <laughs> you're, you're just not. Yeah, as Robin and Chichi are available as TP tokens, King Freddy's available as Dragon Tear. So this is basically like uh, equivalent to farming with shotgun. So it's like probably we're never going to get that unless unless you pay through um, the tier or you play a lot. I think I played a decent amount uh, on PC, and I think only like got halfway through or something like that. So I don't know. I'm not going to grind for this. These could be cool, but uh, this is this is kind of dope. I'm not gonna lie, it looks kind of cool, but I feel like they they definitely fumbled in regards to something else. Because remember, they had to delay all this. Is there more? Oh! This is what I'm talking about, man. This is what I'm talking about. We got Super Saiyan Goku and Gohan. That's cool. Okay. I was going to say, they got to give us something else for the heroes. Although I did notice that they have instant transmission. That sounds kind of broken. Because based on how we saw it in the trailer. Where is it? Hold on. Let me, let me just rewind back. Based on how it happened in the trailer, he instant transmissioned 
to the pedestal. And then made the wish, which sounds insane. Like, right here, look, 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 this is insane. That has to have crazy startup time or something like that. So probably, like, maybe you could answer transmission to someone who has all the Dragon Balls and you have, one, like, the remaining ones. That's going to be nuts. I like this a lot. As I mentioned in my video uh, that I just uploaded today, a couple days ago, if you happen to watch the video later, same to upload it as this. One thing that this game nails is the the skills are really, really cool. You know, stuff like being able to transform into a, a vase when you're about to get murked or, you know, a chair or being able to fly away as a rocket, Spider-Man across the map. Stuff like that is very, very cool. So them adding this, I'm excited about. I think this is dope. Where is he? My only concern about Great Ape is it does feel very, very slow. Like, he seems to have an AoE. Where is this? He, like, he did that AoE real briefly. He, he has an AoE, but he seems so slow. So I don't know. I don't know how this is going to play. I feel like this is going to be very... Actually, I don't know, man. That is a massive area. <laughs> that is nuts. But also, let's be real. The thing that this game doesn't really do that well is I feel like a lot of times you don't make it to the final stage. Usually by the time you get to like stage one or stage two of your transformation, you basically win. But then also based on the comments I've been reading this morning... The meta has changed a lot, so people are using stuff like bikes and barriers and stuff like that to, like, survive as long as possible. So, I don't know. I think this won't be as exciting in the long run. Basically, what I'm waiting for now already is the next update season. Wait, hold on. Did it show anything else? No, they do not. Okay, so they're not, they're not going to uh, tease season three here, obviously. So they also have Goku's outfit, Trunks' outfit, Grandpa Gohan mask, Cyber Plush. So, nothing really exciting so far. And then just Rocky Field, which literally... My only issue with Rocket Field is Rocket Field is literally the planet Namek map and the first map mixed together. At least for my first look. Because look, you literally have the same city. It's like the same city aspect and you have a little desert and you have planet Namek basically all in one map. I don't know how I feel about that. Again, one of my biggest uh, like gripes with this game since day one has been the lack of maps. I, I wish they would drop at least two maps with every single release. But for all you know, this map would be great. So I don't know. I'm not going to judge it until I play it myself. But that's my overall thoughts. This is dope, though. All right. I guess we'll play Dragon Ball The Breakers. Ball Breakers later this week. I've already texted literally Dion and, and Dotto this morning. I'm like, it's Breakers time. So we'll probably do a three in this video at least. But I guess let me know your overall thoughts on this update. Are you excited? Not excited? Do you not care anymore? Again, I think Dragon Ball Breakers in the long run is going to be a great game for what it is. It just needs the updates first. Because... When Dead by Daylight dropped, it wasn't that fun. It was fun and gimmicky at first, but then it's like, I'm bored of it. But now Dead by Daylight has so many options. And but when we get to the point where you have Goku Black, the androids, Janimba, I don't know, Boo. Well, we already have Boo. Boo. Obviously, he was in the first game. Basically, any other vil villain, Golden Frieza. I don't know if they happen to have the Pride Troopers. So like that could be fun. It just, we have to get to the point before we get all the good stuff. And then at that point, you have more maps, all that stuff, yada, yada, yada. I think the game could be fun in the future future. For right now, it just, it just lacks in those updates and lacks for reason for me having to or want to play. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, I guess stay tuned for more. And later this week, expect it, at least a two-hated video, if not three, for Dragon Ball Breakers. So, yeah. Um, I guess I'll see you guys then and in the comments of this video.